If you grew up with a mom who was great at throwing parties, organizing dinners, but you feel like you didn't get all the secrets that you wanted passed on to you, you are in luck this morning because Amy Goodman, our good friend and editor at large for Southern Living Magazine, is here with some time-tested tips that we can all use around the house. Always good to see you. Oh, lovely to be here. And we're going to start off with the cast iron skillet, which of course, now that you're at Southern Living Magazine, <laughs> this is the staple of Southern cooking, but man, these can be hard to clean. It's a cornerstone of Southern cooking because it is naturally seasons your food. It's non-stick and is virtually indestructible. However, it mm. can be a bear to clean. Yes. The first step is you take a wooden spoon and you get up as much of the food as you possibly can naturally there. And, and then, I want to do this while it's still a little bit hot, right? So that it's so that it moves a little easier. Actually, you want the pan to be completely cold. Okay. Um, and then you do the scraping. Then under warm water, using no soap, you take a bristle brush that is not metallic or a green scour pad, and you go to work at it. The key here is that it's about the elbow grease mm -hmm. and the energy that you put into it. Then you rinse with water, you towel dry and air dry naturally, and that really, really should work for most cast iron okay. skillets. Then when it's clean, you take a little bit of vegetable oil, you apply that to a paper towel, and then you run it through the interior of the pan okay. to seal in the nonstick qualities and the seasoning. And let me ask you a quick question. I know that you're not supposed to use soap on this, yeah. and I know that we want a little bit of that seasoning to stay because that's what gives you the flavor, the buildup over time. But when it's so caked on, is there mm -hmm. anything else you can do? I tried baking soda once because I thought that was natural, and I think I ruined my pan. Well, a non-abrasive cleanser that's natural like coarse salt okay. is something that you can actually use as a last ditch effort. This is like the five to two percent of pans that won't clean using that previous right. method. You throw in some salt, you use that your brush, brush again. again, and that will absolutely do it. And okay. for nonstick, regular nonstick pans, just use warm sudsy water. Okay. That'll do. And it. don't put them in the dishwasher, no matter do what not, they say. No, absolutely not. You, okay. When it comes to stemware, crystal especially, mm -hmm. it's so delicate. Mm -hmm. It hits the bottom of your sink, and you're done. Ah! Please. So, first of all, you do not dishwash this either. These mm -hmm. are all hand washed. The trick to not breaking it is to use a nice rubber mat or a towel. Hopefully, that'll break a fall in a way that your crystal won't break. And you put that in the bottom of you your sink. You put that at the bottom okay. of your sink. Um, then you pick up your glasses from the bulb of the glass, not the stem. Oh, you okay. wash it with regular dishwashing liquid uh, and also rinse with warm water. The thing with the warm water, you put it into a bowl mm -hmm. on your countertop and you rinse each individual glass within that bowl and then you set it aside. This is just having separate workstations for separate tasks okay. to decrease the chances of breakage and then you put it to You the have side. rice and vinegar and a red wine stain. That's going to help us get rid of the stain in the glass without scrubbing it? That I'm a red wine lover. Yeah. And if you happen to get that little bit of red wine that does not remove, you apply about a half a glass of the white vinegar, you throw in some dried rice, hmm. and you give it a swirl, just like a good red wine. You and give it a little scrub swirl. It. That'll scrub it, gives it just enough friction to I lift love it, it off. You throw it out, you do the wash. There we go. As we previously Very nice. mentioned. Silver can be really tough. Obviously, this doesn't go in the dishwasher either, but you have to constantly polish. So what are yes. some tips for silver? Yes, and at Southern Living, we encourage you to use your silver pieces in an everyday manner. If you don't, though, it will tarnish. So get a great uh, polish. This mm -hmm. is from Haggerty's. We applied a small amount to a soft cloth. We put it on in a circular pattern and matter. We let this dry for one minute, and now in the same manner, you kind of Just use a circular motion to polish it off, Easy and enough. you get this great shine and sheen. And for the small areas, you can use a soft bristled brush to okay. get in there. Um, I want to make sure we get to these before we run out of time. Yes. So gum on clothing can be really tough. The freezer is your friend here. Yes, my daughter absolutely loves gum, um, so I'm waiting for this to happen to us. So you get your gum as soon as possible. You want to try to lift off as much of the gum as you can wearing the gloves. Yep. You throw it folded into a Ziploc freezer bag and you go to your freezer. After Here we it's have frozen. After an hour or so, you pop it out of the bag and to that you just take a dull bladed knife. Scrape it off. You scrape it off. Any last remaining bit, you use a firm bristled toothbrush and you just peel it off there. And uh, then you throw it into the washer with some fabric cleaner. I love it. And lastly, who has this not happened to? you get something stuck on your iron. Yes, or just natural cleaning. Yeah. So you uh, use a combination of sudsy soaps onto a sponge, clean a cold iron. Cold iron, very important. Yes, and then, and then just wipe it off with a damp cloth. Um, for cleaning the interior of the iron, yeah. here in the reservoir, we're gonna put about a quarter cup of the white vinegar. Because is it true that a lot of times the buildup that you'll see on your iron, some of that white stuff that might build up there, it's really from your water. It's coming from your tap water, okay. all the mineral and the calcium. And here, you actually steam all of this vinegar out, then you do actually a water rinse with distilled water, and you're done. Great tips as always. Amy, thanks. Thank you.